How was your weekend? It was good. Yeah? I can't really remember what we did, but... Well, think about it. The best way I think I can describe this part of our journey that we're in right now is that every day is, um, is a blessing. Every day is a new joy. Um, there's definitely some setbacks where you get frustrated, where he remembers things and then the next day he doesn't remember things. And so going through that process is just, it's a process. It's just that. And it literally feels like a roller coaster. So let's do this. Can you pull up right next to the mess? And so when we have those awesome, amazing days that he is just, he's remembering things and he's moving good and he's flexing and he's, everything is working like it should be. And then you're like just expecting that. And the goal here at Craig and the goal in his rehab all together is to do more of this and more plateaus and then just to keep going up, which is the area that we're getting into now. Got it? Yep. One, two, three, push. We got down here and, and they were great. They, they got us in and started doing therapy right away. Um, okay, we're gonna do that again. With his head injury, um, he's getting there, but he's not still as full self yet to where he pushes himself. Already tight, right? He handles it real well. I mean, he, he's a tough kid and he knows I, I'll push him. Yeah, so much so where he, he, he knows if you're coming to stretch him, apparently. Yeah, he's not a big yeah. Fan of you he does stretch. not like me stretching him. But, uh, well, I do a lot of things to him he doesn't like, so. Towards your knees, all right? Ready? Yeah, good. Now you can push all the way up on We the had team. told the doctors, if our team makes it to state championship, is there any way? And they were like, you know what? Let's work towards it. Remember what you're going to do next? Um, push up. Lean forward, push up on your elbow. Ready? Okay. One. Two, three, lean forward, lean forward. There you go. Good. Okay. I'll shake this hand. Alright. All right. Straighten out. One, two, three, four, five. Good. Every ounce of work the Panthers put in on the football field was rivaled only by the amount of effort Ethan was putting into rehab. Look at you holding yourself. Yeah. You're doing so much better. I love Thank it. Thank you. Day after day, Andy and Tiffany would remind Ethan just how far he's come. Be it a newspaper clipping, pictures, or letters, it was all part of the healing process. Ethan has a couple of phrases that he says often. Usually when we say to him, this is what's going on, or we'll show him pictures. This is, this is the um, Lander and Powell coming together after the game and praying. This is what Lander did for you when we went there to play them. Reaction is always the same. Oh, wow. Over 400 shirts they sold in Cody for you. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. He said I was not 11 when 10 is already plenty. <laughs> That's you, that's your personality. He missed the game of football and being the captain he so fervently worked to become. But more than anything, he missed his friends. Was it time for me? What does that mean? Time for me to tip back. Mm Sometimes the roads we travel aren't exactly the roads we mapped out. And yet, somehow, destiny has a way of finding us and bringing us to the place we were always meant to be. Ethan and his teammates were always meant to be together. And on this warm November day in Laramie, Wyoming, that's the very place destiny had brought them. Almost as soon as he came in and we all noticed him, it, it was just like everything kind of stopped. It's your boys! Yeah, it's, it's good is. to see you, Ethan. Thank you. It's real good to see you, yeah, It's good to see you too, man. Around. That's awesome. I prayed for Ethan and for his family every day, day and night. We got you a ball signed by our teammates for you. Thank That's you, buddy. Of course. Yeah. Yes, sir. I just wish I could be here with you guys, you know? You're here with us, man. Always. Yeah.
I just wish I could be in like the pads and stuff like you guys are. Yeah. What it means to you to be here with your team? It means a lot, mostly because they made it here without me, you know? But it means a lot to, for them to be here and for me to see all my teammates again because I haven't seen them in a while. That's all I needed. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Good job. Our players hadn't been together with Ethan since zero week, which was our preseason. And then fast forward 12 weeks to the last possible time to play football for this season in the state championship game. And for him to go out on the field was amazing. This is so important to him to be there with his team, even though there's not a lot of memories that are sticking with it. These are his boys. This is his senior year. This is his last game with his boys, and we wouldn't have missed it for the world. Accompanying the captains for Powell is Powell captain, Ethan Asher. A big round of applause, please. Ethan looked on as his teammates struggled to match touchdown for touchdown with powerhouse Star Valley, who were looking for their fourth title in five years. As the temperatures dropped and Ethan moved from the field to the booth, one couldn't help but wonder of all the thoughts drifting in and out of a mind that had been through so much. But one thing was for certain, Ethan was home. We told those boys, it was shortly after the accident, you know, you know, stretch the season out as long as you can make it, you know, just give Ethan a chance to, to be at least, be a part of one game, so, um, yeah. Them making it to where they did was, was pretty cool. I mean, they, yeah, they fought, they fought hard, so. I'm a man of science. I've spent my entire career studying science, but I'm a man of faith too. And I believe miracles happen. You know, medical science has its limitations, but I think faith has no limits. I pray for my patients every day. Certainly, Ethan was one of those patients. I think his is one of our stories of greatest success. I feel like uh, even though we lost, we won that game because Ethan was there and uh, our goal since freshman year was to go back to the state championship game and just to just to get there and beat Cody in the semifinals was in my book a win. We got him there and uh, so he can enjoy the experience and just soak, soak being in a state championship one more time. Ethan and the Asher family were the bond that kept us going, the bond that held us together and our driving force to get to where we did and how we did it. Values. Dude, 